If one or more of your parents were an alcoholic, physically, verbally, mentally, and emotionally abusive, did you choose that situation as a soul? And if so, why would you have done that? My name is Tracy, and if you don't know me, I do past life regression, life in between life regression, and higher self-hypnosis to help my clients get answers to every question about their lives, including questions like these. I've made videos similar to this one, but let me go into a little bit more detail here. So the lives that we have right now were chosen by our souls or our spirit teams or by creator. The lessons, the experiences, the people, all the things that we would experience in each particular lifetime. The conscious mind that we have here, the personality or the persona that we have here in this lifetime played zero role in picking what would happen in this lifetime. So imagine this, you're up in the spirit realm, your team gets together with you and says, gosh, you really need to learn patience and forgiveness and how to accept things that happen to you that you can't control. And those are the three things that you're going to work on in this lifetime. And as a soul, you may be like, oh gosh, those are gonna be really tough, but yeah, I know I need to learn them. Or you actually might be really excited to learn them, but either way, you pretty much always acquiesce and go for it. A lot of times when I'm helping people in their sessions and they look at lives in between lives, they say that maybe they helped pick out their parents or the people who would be their teachers for these lessons. And sometimes they say, I really didn't help because it doesn't really matter who the teacher is. I'm going to get the lesson regardless, so it doesn't really matter. And then they allow creator or their teams to put the parents and the families and the friends and the partners together for them to learn these lessons. So remember, everyone in your life is a teacher, just like you are a teacher for others. You rub people the wrong way, I rub people the wrong way. We are a teacher for everyone as everyone is a teacher for us. And remember, the personality that you are, like me here now, Tracy, Tracy had zero say in who would be in my life, who the teacher would be, and what the lessons would be that I would learn. That's all done on a soul level. So let's dig into that question again. Why would someone choose to be born to an alcoholic, physically, verbally, emotionally, mentally abusive parent? Or why would they choose or be forced to experience something as awful as the type of abuse that we're going to call S.A.? The answer for each person is going to be very individual. It's not going to be the exact same answer for every single person. So really, we would need to hear from your higher self why you ended up with parents like that. But let me give you some possible examples that I've heard in the past. One instance might be, this is not your first circus. You have been on this road to learn these same lessons through several lifetimes and you're just not getting it. You're not getting how to learn forgiveness. You're not learning how to let go. You're not learning acceptance. And so the lessons keep getting harder and more intense. The teachers keep getting more intense, more abusive. And this is all in an effort to drive you to the point of, let's call it breaking, to the point of breaking where you actually stop trying to run from your lessons and you do the inner work that you need to do to learn them. You are forced to go inward because there is no relief and no reprieve outside of you. And that's a big thing for humans. We try to fix everything outside of us, thinking that the issues lie outside of us. Oh, I'll change jobs, I'll change partners, I'll leave my family members, I'll go make my own family thinking that it's these external things. But keep in mind, wherever you go, there you are. And those same lessons and issues are gonna follow you, even if you've left the former circumstances. So this intensification is geared toward driving you inward to look for the answers, do the healing, and get you to a point where you will actually start learning how to forgive, how to live in acceptance or whatever your lessons are. And self-love is a big lesson. So that might be another one you're after and you're just not learning it. That's one scenario. Again, you've repeated these same lessons in different lifetimes, different circumstances, but still all geared toward the same lessons and you're just not getting it. 
Of course, your conscious mind does not remember that you've done these numerous lives. Your soul is the one that knows that. So your conscious mind is getting all frustrated and feeling sorry for itself and why is this happening to me? And it just doesn't understand this is not your first rodeo. And the heat had to be turned up. Another reason might be is because maybe you played that very role in a previous lifetime. And for your soul to be balanced, you want to now play the opposite role. You may have been the abuser. Verbally, emotionally, mentally abusing someone, you may have been the alcoholic treating someone the exact same way that they're currently treating you. I see this regularly. You might call it karma, but really it's just your soul deciding, hey, I did that. I wanna know what it feels like to be on the receiving end of that so I can have a balanced perspective of this. And again, your conscious mind had no say and played no part in it and doesn't remember that you were that exact same person in another life. So these are just some possible things that might be going on in the background that you're just not aware of on a conscious level, but they're very much at play in your journey and in the reasons why you are experiencing the abuse and the hard things that you're experiencing. Everyone is a teacher. And I will also tell you this, nothing happens by mistake. Everything happens for a reason, just like that saying goes. Your conscious mind had no part in it. And so it doesn't know this. It just doesn't understand. So how do you handle it when you're dealing with these things and you don't understand and your conscious mind just wasn't part of it and doesn't remember and is very angry and frustrated and feels like a victim? That's where trust comes in. Trust and going inward and doing the work and the healing and looking at everyone in your life and saying, what are you here to teach me? Not pointing a finger at that specific person, whether it be mom or dad or someone else, but saying, you're just a teacher. You could have been anyone, you're my teacher. What am I supposed to learn from you? because until you learn the lesson, you're going to keep repeating it. If you're meant to learn forgiveness, if you're meant to learn acceptance, if you're meant to learn self-love, you are going to learn it one way or another, whether it's in this lifetime or the next one or the next one or the next one. It might seem unfair because your memory gets wiped in between lives and how are you supposed to carry on and remember and move forward? Don't worry, that's why you have a higher self. That's why you have a spirit team. If you go inward and tap into them in meditation, spending time with them, talking to them, they know. They know what your lessons are. They know what you've experienced. They know how to help you out of this situation. But us stubborn humans, we like to try to figure it out on ourselves and fix everything outside of us instead of going inward but that's where the answers are. So if you haven't tried meditation or you use the excuse, oh, I can't quiet my mind, I can't do it, I don't have the time, then you can just keep looping around in your same patterns. But I'm telling you, meditation and connecting with your team, with your higher self is the key. The key to helping you remember and get out of this situation. Is it going to happen overnight? No. The spiritual journey is not for the lazy. You have to do the work. You have to guard your thoughts. You have to watch what you're thinking, what you're saying, how you're acting, and change the way you're thinking, believing, acting, letting go, learning the lessons, and actually incorporating them into your life. Or you can just keep going around in circles again and again and again. The clients that come to me have usually had numerous lifetimes where they're dealing with this and their soul is just leading them to a guide to help them find a way to get out, to find a different way. But you can also take the leap on your own through meditation, talking with your team, and doing positive affirmations to rewire your thoughts, reprogram your mind. It's all up to you. No one else can make it happen. It's 100% on you if you pass the test this time or if you want to continue next time.